God, I see it. Well, welcome everybody. Good morning and happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Hallelujah. I'm excited. I don't know about you, but welcome to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend. Amen. 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 Here in Marfa, Texas. And we welcome you. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. Prepárese a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. Amen. Amen. So praise God, all those of you that are joining us by audio video. Prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. Amen. 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 We're getting towards the end of the year. And uh, you haven't heard from him? Well, it's time you heard, but uh, it's time you slow yourself down, Amen. shut your mind, right. <laughs> and open as he is calling you. So answer his call. Amen. Yeah. He wants to share with you. Uh, amen. So he wants to bless you, encourage you, change you, and he wants to correct us. Yes. Amen. Amen. And you know, uh, uh, you've read this so many times, and I just want to see if I get this right. But, uh, you know, here lately, uh, the church... <laughs> all of a sudden has taken the conviction of God or the Holy Ghost to an offense where we are um, offended. Oh, <laughs> we're offended instead of convicted. All right. You know, hey, we're children of God, oh. amen. And you know, God is going to correct his children. He wants to amen. bless you, but he also wants to correct you. Amen. And if he convicts you and corrects you, uh, receive it. Because yeah. he knows what's best yeah. for us, yeah. amen. He called us, he equipped us, but you know, he's going to correct us as needed. He's going to convict us if we know he knows we need the, the, yeah. uh, the, the correction, the conviction. But you know, don't take it as an offense. That's right. You know, and all of a sudden, you know, we're offended and uh, we decide, well, well I, I'm not going to come to church anymore. Or I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to hear from God anymore. Yeah, I know, until we get into a crisis. Uh -huh. Amen. So, um, Let's not, uh, you know, the word of God is on a daily basis, you know, it's the daily bread, yeah. amen, not a, 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 a cake, a cake, uh, you know, <laughs> just a nice, nice sweet cake that we take out only on special occasions, you know, uh -huh. no, the word of God is a daily bread, yeah. amen, yeah. that we need to take on a daily basis yes. and let it bless us, bless us, amen, but sometimes he wants to take that and correct us, amen, I'm yeah. sorry I got yeah. too far into that, but you know, hey, he's got something for you. Amen. So it's time we receive, you know, and we're going to continue. Uh, a few weeks ago, we talked about closing the, and opening the year with a bang. Mm -hmm. You know, when I say bang, I'm talking about right, loud right. noise. I'm talking about excitement. I'm yes. talking about enthusiasm. Yes. Amen. Uh, I saw some bowl games last night, you know, and uh, guess what? <laughs> I yeah. didn't see. I didn't see nobody sad there, unless you're a team loss. But still, <laughs> I saw people shouting. I saw people jumping up and down. Uh -huh. I mean, they was into it. They dressed weird. They, I mean, all kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Still, yeah. we need to do that for God. We, uh -huh. You know, hey, we want to close this year with a bang, and we yeah. want to open the new year with a bang. Amen. Yeah, excited, right. excited, excited yeah. for him. Amen. So guess what? Only you could do the stirring up. That's it. <laughs> but he tells us to stir ourselves up. Yeah. Amen. You know, <laughs> If you get around a group of people, you know, and all they're doing is uh, is cutting each other down and being sad, it's time that you get away from there or oh, bring yeah. that excitement to them, you know, yeah, and get them excited, yeah. stirred up. Yes, amen. Yeah. You know, uh, it's time that we do our part and get yeah. excited for him, amen? amen. Get thirsty for him, man. Hey, we're, we're that fresh water yeah. in this dry desert, amen? Right. And you bring that water to them, and you're going to yeah. get them all excited about God, yeah. you know? If they see you serving God and sad and, and, and bad, yeah. They don't want your God because they see you already. Yeah. So you got to watch your words, your, excited, your, your, your words and your actions, yeah. and be excited for Him. Amen. Uh -huh. It's fun yeah. serving God. It's not sad, That's you right. know. Amen. So praise God. Woo! Hallelujah! Lord. Grab your swords, grab your Bibles, church, <laughs> and say it like you mean it. Amen. Yes. This, is, this is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. Yeah. I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My, my spirit, spirit is receptive, is and I'll never be the same in Jesus', in Jesus name. Yeah. Woo, if you've never said it before, say it like you mean it, amen? Yeah. And say it from your heart, amen? Yeah. I, 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 yeah. I need to do something, yeah. amen? Yeah. Who? Yeah. I need to close this year with the bang and yeah. open this year with the bang, amen? So, yeah. hallelujah, so I got to do something. We uh -huh. always count on somebody else. Uh -huh. Hallelujah, right. praise God. Go ahead, you can you can turn it. This is going to be our text. As a matter of fact, let's go to our text and let's read it. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, Philippians. Yeah. 
Woo, hallelujah. Philippians chapter 3 and verse 12 through 14. I'm going to read it out of King James. So you read it out of your translation. Amen. Amen. It says, not as though I have already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after, if I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. <coughs> 13, brethren, I count not myself as to have apprehended, but there's one thing I do. Yes. Forgetting those things which are behind uh -huh. and reaching forth unto those things which are before. Yes. Amen. So 14 says, I press towards the mark for the price of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. So that's going to be our text. Amen. Yes. We'll refer to it and we may go back. Go to the next one. This is the NIV. Go to the next slide. And I want to apologize because, Carmen, uh, I may have you look for something that's way ahead or something that you can go back to. Amen. So, but this one says here, it says, but one thing I do, uh -huh. I must do something. Amen. Yeah. So we all, sometimes we leave it to somebody else. And sometimes we blame somebody else. But this one here says, I must do something. But one thing I do, forgetting that uh, what is behind and straining towards what is ahead, yeah. I press towards yeah. the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Yeah. Amen. But I must press and I must forget the past. I must forget the past. Amen. Forgetting those things which are behind and sometimes, you know, the enemy, yeah. the devil, Sometimes wow. family, sometimes yeah. friends, yeah. they try to remind you and yourself, your worst enemy. Wow. <laughs> That's right. Remind yourself, you know, I didn't do anything I was supposed to do. <laughs> Especially yeah. when it comes to the things of God. Yeah. I didn't complete anything, so I see myself a failure. You know, so don't allow the enemy, don't allow nobody to put those thoughts there for you. Renew yeah. your mind. Yes. We're going to be talking about this, renewing your mind and letting those things go. Amen? And don't let those things hold you back. Amen. Amen? So, here we go. This is what I have here. Closing the old with the bang and opening the new with the bang. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. With the winning attitude. Never close out or start a new day or a year in idle. Yeah. Or lukewarm, either be hot or cold. Yes, amen. Close start by rejoicing. Close and start by praising and worshiping Him. Yeah. Or close and start with a winning attitude. Close and start with excitement. Yeah. Close and start with enthusiasm. Amen. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Glory. Come on. Woo. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> close and start by setting your priorities in order on a daily basis. Uh -huh. Amen. Yeah. So as you start your day, say, Lord. Go to him and say, Lord, just go before him and just pray, you know, and just come to him and, and say thank you, you know, for yes. this new day. He's given us a new day to serve him. It says rejoice and be glad in it. You know, when you have the truth in you and you know the truth, uh -huh. you're going to rejoice and be glad because you know yeah. you're yeah. already on a winning side. Yes, amen. You already know that you're going to have a winning day. You know, I'm not leaving it to circumstances. I'm not leaving right. it to people. I'm not leaving it to nobody else to tell me. What kind of day I'm going to have? I'm going to have a winning day. I'm going to have a, 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 a day that I'm going to rejoice and yeah. be glad. Amen. Right. Woo. Hallelujah. And I'm going to accomplish some great things for him. Amen. Let go of the past. Let go of past failures. I might have been there. Come on now. Yes. Thank you, <laughs> Mistakes, problems, worries, lacks, mindsets, bad uh, traditions, bad habits, no bad companies, bad attitudes. Yeah. I know none of you have been around this. <laughs> yeah. But hey, put it all behind you now. Amen. Yeah. Keep put it all behind you. Don't let the enemy hold it against you anymore. Don't let family or anybody mm -hmm. else. But we want to start, and we're going to continue to say this with a bang. We're going to start with a. We're going to close and start with a bang. We're going to close and start with a, a excitement, enthusiasm. Amen. And uh, go to the next slide. We have some good ones. <laughs> You can't start the next chapter or the next year yeah. or the next day of your life if you keep rereading the last one. Mm -hmm. That's true. You're stuck in the past yeah. <laughs> or you're stuck in yesterday. Mm -hmm. Since today has enough worries of itself yeah. without or problems of itself without you worrying about yesterday. Yeah. It's gone. Mm -hmm. Or tomorrow. Just 
take care of today. Amen. Yes. So yes. guess what? Quit re re reading it. Amen. It's yes. time to turn the page. That year is gone. We're coming real close. And once that year is gone, let it go. Yes. Let's open a new chapter. New year, 2020 coming up. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know about you, but I'm excited. Keep going. Who? Accept your past without regrets. Mm -hmm. Handle your presence with confidence. Mm -hmm. And you face your future without fear. Yeah. Remember, he's not giving us a spirit of fear, right. but a power of love and of a sound mm -hmm. mind. Amen. Amen. So praise God. You Amen. know what? I'm already excited about tomorrow or whatever's coming. You know why? Because I know he's already been there. Yes, amen. And things are going to be well, especially if we have relationship going. Amen. So we have good relationship going here. <laughs> uh, keep, keep going. One more. <clears throat> Let's see what we are. God can bring peace to your past, mm. purpose to your present, mm. and hope to your future. Amen. John 14, 27. Yes. Amen. Amen. I know I have one in there, but talks about Never be a prisoner of your past. Mm. It was a lesson. It was a lesson mm -hmm. and not a life sentence. That's right. I know. Mm -hmm. Amen. So mm -hmm. praise mm -hmm. God. So we we have to we have to remember this. Start and end it each day by staying mm -hmm. positive and not in a negative way. And not negative. Amen. Staying positive because everywhere you go, this world's gonna be negative. Yes. They're not going to see things the way you see them. Amen. Right. So you got to keep yourself going. Amen. We're walking with him. It says, even though I walk through the valley of shadow of death or a world of negativity, God is with me and I can do yes. all things through Christ. Yeah. Amen. So he's with me. And uh, we're going to make it through. Yeah. Amen. We're going to make it through. So daily walking with him. You know, he's my God on the, on the top and he's my God in the valley. Yeah. Amen. If you feel on the mountaintops, and everything's looking real nice and pretty. But guess what? There's going to come a day where you may be in the valley. <laughs> but he's still there. He says, yeah. never leaves you, nor forsakes you. Right. He's always with you. Yeah. Woo, hallelujah. Past things must be released. Amen. Let them go. Yeah. Clean our spiritual lives. Amen. Yeah. Woo, we fight a spiritual life uh, battle on a daily basis. We fight this battle daily. And where does the enemy attack the most? Mm -hmm. The mind. He attacks the mind. That's the battlefield right there. Mm -hmm. So what does he tell us to do? Renew your mind with the word of God. Right. Amen. Read the word. Feed your spirit the word of yes. God. Yes. Amen. And then you renew your mind with the word of God. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Now don't allow those negative thoughts, those negative things coming against you to take overtake you. That's right. Amen. And the flesh, he says, crucify your flesh because your flesh wants to yes. take it real easy. Yes. <laughs> That's the flesh. You know, he wants to just slide by you know <laughs> he says you know you if you have problems you have burdens you have anxiety you have worries all these things he says cast it on him yeah. give it to him <laughs> you know we're coming to the end of the year so why are you still holding on to him <laughs> you said give it give it to him on a daily basis yeah. as a matter of fact you can give it to him anytime you feel this uh, burden mm -hmm. anytime you feel this anxiety yeah. he says Lord I give I, I cast this on you yeah. I give it to you you know I wasn't meant to carry these things, you know, so I'm giving it to you. Amen. Amen. But we hold on to it till it starts making us feel bad and sick and worried and all these other things, and and, and, and we're still holding on to them. You know, we're stopped. We got to be pressing on, mm -hmm. and we can't do that if we're laying down. Mm -hmm. Amen. We got to press on. So renew your minds. Things try to attach themselves to our lives. Things are coming to try to attach themselves to you. Yes. Yes. Amen. So you have to be careful, and you have to be careful with your words and your actions, mm -hmm. because a lot of times you may be doing well, but your words are attracting the enemy, yeah. and you're allowing the enemy opening the doors for the enemy to come in. So you got to be careful. Yes. But things are coming, and the enemy is going to use things to try to come against you. Amen. And these things are there, so you got to be careful. <laughs> These things have no place in our lives. We must renew our mind and let these things go. Amen. So, amen. amen. And when he comes and when you cast these things on him and God takes things from you, don't try to take them back. Right. Let them go. If he took them, it was for a reason. Mm -hmm. And, you know, sometimes things come your way that was there for a season and now mm -hmm. it's gone. Right. So yeah. don't, don't try to get it back. That's right. Amen. Amen. You learn from it and let it go. Ooh, hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. God is good. 
Yes, I'm excited. I don't know about you. Paul tells us, focus our thoughts on heavenly things. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Amen. Avoid getting caught up in the yeah. worldly things. Right. Amen. <laughs> so you know what? Let go of the past. Yeah. Because it's going to try to keep you back. It's oh, going to try yeah. to pull you back. That's and right. you're trying to pull forward, but mm -hmm. all these weight is pulling you back. Mm -hmm. Amen. Things that pollute our mind. Yeah. So again, the battlefield is the mind. Mm -hmm. Things, distractions, people that hinder our daily walk. Yeah. You know, people are going to be jealous just because you're pressing on with God and doing right. great for God right. and people see you and we're talking yeah. about Christian people right. <laughs> are jealous and they're going to try to hold you back and say hey you know what it's time for you to take a break right. <laughs> you know <laughs> take a break you're too busy for God mm -hmm. no, 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 no just no. press on with the things of God That's focus right. Amen. <laughs> focus the mind on, on, the, on the things of God keep going here we go don't judge me by my past. I don't live there anymore. And this we're talking about the enemy, we're talking about people are still going to judge you by uh -huh. your past. Yes. Okay? Because remember you had a spiritual birth. You had a spiritual birth. You were born again spiritually. And you can't see in the spirit unless God allows you. But you can't see your, your spiritual birth. Right. You're a new person inside. And people still see the old person outside. Mm -hmm. So they see yeah. your physical, physically they can see you. And they see the same person. So they're going to try to come and distract you and attract you oh, yeah. their way. Yeah. And say, bring you these things of the past mm -hmm. that you did. But you let them know, don't judge me by my past because I don't live there anymore. Right. I'm a new yeah. creature in Christ. Mm -hmm. St. Corinthians talks about that. I'm a new creature in Christ. Behold, all things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. new. Amen. You need to know these yeah. things and, and, and not and quit living in the past. Yeah. We're closing a new, uh, an old year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're closing this year, and we're going to get ready and start a new one. So you know what? Start on the right foot. Yes. Start on the right way. Start on a winning team. Mm -hmm. Amen. Get on God's team and not yeah. losing team. Yes, yes, yes. Paul mentioned some dangerous distractions that hinder our walk. Some of them are false doctrines, yeah. you know. Some, or, 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 or uh, a new, a new way of saying it these days now is, "Hey, I've got something new from God." Yeah. <laughs> you know, hey, I've got something new from God. You know, like they try to tell you, "Oh, this is a new disease that Jesus never knew about yeah. that you're not cured from." Mm -hmm. It's false. Right. It's false doctrines. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everything yeah. Jesus did accomplished from A to Z. Amen. Mm -hmm. Everything from the cover to cover of the Word of God. Amen. Amen. So yes. there's nothing new. Yes. He covered all of it. Okay. Yes. So somebody come Amen. and tell you, hey, you guys missing it. You know, we got a new thing going. <laughs> you know, just put it on the shelf. And say, hey, I'm, I'm going to stay with the Word of God. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. So there are false doctrines. Beware of false doctrines. Also, tradition of men. Yeah. I'm not going to change because my grandparents, my mom and dad, taught me this way and brought me up this way so I'm not going to be moved mm -hmm. by the things of God. Well, mm -hmm. nothing's going to move you. Right. You can just stay there all you want to. <laughs> <laughs> Amen? So, mm -hmm. anyway, in closing two, two, uh, 2019 and entering into 2020 with, again, a bang with excitement, with enthusiasm, yeah. with new opportunities, with new yeah. assignments, with new yeah. beginnings. And I've talked to you about this before. God wants to use you. Yes. But you're excluding yourself. Mm -hmm. It's time you make yourself available. Mm -hmm. Amen. The only reason you haven't been used is because you're not available. Mm -hmm. And you're not making yourself available. Because you still feel like, I'm not good enough. Mm -hmm. And somebody told you that and you're still sitting down wondering, you know, when is God going to use me? Or God can't use me now because I failed it. Well, listen, <laughs> just one person. Peter, we're going to be talking about some of these Bible heroes. Peter denied him three times. Yeah. And Jesus didn't give up on him. Jesus used him mightily when he went and preached some mighty messages. And people were born into the kingdom of God. People were saying. But he didn't give up on him. He called to you and he's not going to give up on you. Right. He put gifts in you and he's not taking them back. So you have to find out what I have to do with these. Amen. Amen. So Amen. what do I do with this, Lord? I want to get busy. I want to do things for you. Well, it's time, you know, we're closing this year, and, and, and you haven't done anything about it. 
-hmm. and we're opening the new year pretty soon mm -hmm. it's time that you start off on the right foot yes amen the right way enthused excited yes amen yes, yes, yes. <laughs> a first start a new year yes that we may accomplish more uh personally either business new goals uh, a better health spiritually growing and going for god amen yeah. we as christians must mature we must grow in the things of god you can't stay the same That's right. you're learners yeah. and not failures right. amen? Yeah. the enemy in the world will have you see you're not qualified you're not learning so we're going to fire you mm. wow in the in the word in the, in the kingdom of god you're pressing and you're going <laughs> amen and you're learning and you're maturing in the things of god amen mm -hmm. so don't let Satan, don't let people, distractions, uh, things, uh, excuses, mm. or yourself hold yeah. you back. Right, amen. 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 Say, Lord put you here for a reason, and that's for you to be busy for him. But receive him first, get your priorities right, and press on with him, amen. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens yes. me. Yes. Amen. amen. <laughs> be excited to close out the old year and open the new year, amen. pressing on towards the goal, amen, amen. Yeah. towards the price with God. Amen. Once again, exciting. Amen. He yes. says, stir yourself up. He talks yes. to us about that in, in Timothy. He says, stir yourself up. Uh -huh. Even if nobody else does it, yes. you can right. excite yourself. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Excite yourself in the things of God. Yes. Amen. And don't let nothing put you down. Amen. Amen. Again. Don't listen to those lies anymore. Right. Amen. Amen. Find out who you are. Amen. Find out who your God is and find out who you are in Christ. Amen. Amen. And what you say, as you stay in the word, you're going to find out. And it says the truth, these truths that don't set you free. Amen. That's the word of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Whew. Let me read it to you from this. This is this is our text. Oh, let me see. Go ahead. Here we go. <laughs> Never be a prisoner of your past. Mm. It was just a lesson, not a life sentence. Right. Some of you are still stuck in your right. past. It's time to let it go. Yeah. Amen. People are holding it against you. The enemy's holding it against you. Your family's holding it against you. Some people that you love the best are holding it against you. It's time you let it go. And you know, sometimes we gotta let go of some of these folks. Amen. That's amazing. You gotta let go of some of these folks. Let them go and uh, and press on with God. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. Look at this. Right there. <laughs> Keep going. I like that. It says the past is behind. Learn from it. The future is ahead. Prepare yeah. for it. And the present is here. So we live in it. Amen. Amen. We live in it. Yes, we but do. we won't, don't have to be sad about it. Right. Philippians 3, 12 to 14 in the New Living Translation says, I don't mean that I have already achieved these things, but that I have already reached perfection, but I press on yeah. to possess the perfection to which right. Christ Jesus first possessed me. Mm -hmm. And 13 says, no, brothers and sisters, I have not achieved it. Mm -hmm. But I focus on one thing, forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. Amen. So 14 says, I press, remember, personalize mm -hmm. your Bible, scratch it, put your name there. Jose presses on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God, through Christ Jesus, is calling. So we're pressing on towards the goal. We're pressing on towards the prize. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. And while we're doing this, we're having fun. And guess what? We're reaching people. Yes. Bringing good news to mm -hmm. a lost world. Amen. Amen. Bringing light to a dark world. Yeah. Amen. You have the world in you. You have the gospel in you. You have the word in you. And you're bringing it out there to them. Amen. You're setting them free. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Isaiah 43, 18 and uh, 19 says this. Do not remember the things that have happened before. Do not think about the things of the past. See, I will do a new thing. Mm -hmm. It will begin happening now. A new day, a new year, a new beginning. Mm -hmm. Will you not know about it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Yeah. You know, when you're following with him, they don't tell him what he's going to do. Mm -hmm. You know, when Moses saw himself between the Red Sea and, and the armies of uh, Egypt, yeah. what did he do? Mm -hmm. 
He called on God, and God did a new thing. What did he do? He opened the, the yeah. sea, and they, and they, they went, went across on dry land. Mm -hmm. Amen. So what did he do in this? He's no respecter of persons. He'll do the same for you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But he is into doing a new thing, yes. and a new thing he's, he's already done. Yeah. And he'll do for you as well as them. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. St. Corinthians 5, 17 says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, yeah. all things all have become new. Yeah. Amen. Don't let no one, especially the enemy, hold these things against you. Right. You know, that you're not good enough, that you're not qualified, mm -hmm. that you are nobody. Put those things behind and start receiving what the yeah. Word of God says you are. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. So if, when you do that, you know, you'll start to change. Yeah. So praise God. And this is what God says about you. He says, I say this because I know the plans that I have for you. <laughs> the message is from the Lord. Mm -hmm. I have good plans for you. And yeah. you can put your name there. He's talking about you. Mm -hmm. I don't plan to hurt you. Mm -hmm. I plan to give you a hope yes. and a good yes. future. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. So it doesn't matter what people are saying. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to join the crowd. Sometimes you have to stand by yourself. Yes. Amen. But you know what? He's with you. Amen. He says he never leaves you nor forsakes you. So even though the crowd is over there, they may be in the wrong, but I'm going to stand with the truth. Yes. And I'm going to stand with Praise them. God. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Glory. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We all have imperfection or past, but that's okay. Don't be ashamed. Just confess it and let it go. Amen. Amen. Just confess it to him. And he says he'll forgive you. Mm -hmm. He'll forgive you and forget it. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. So we don't have to hold it against ourselves. We don't have to hold it against nobody else. Amen. So praise God. Woo. Praise God. Don't be a prisoner of your past. We just saw that. <laughs> Paul could have said, I've done the worst. He persecuted Christians. Mm -hmm. He had them uh, executed. There's no hope for me. Because this sounds familiar. It sounds like me. There's no hope. There's no way I could ever see myself used by God because of what I've done. A lot of people are still stuck there. Mm -hmm. Amen. God can I, God, they're not allowing God to use them because they're still stuck on what they've done in the past. Mm -hmm. Amen. But you know what? When you confess it and forget about it, confess it, repent, forget it, he's going to use you. Amen. Yeah. And you know, yeah, say that. when we've all been tested, he's given us all the testimony. He says they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. All of us have been brought out of something. Amen. And we have awesome testimony that God wants us to use. Amen. 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 So praise God. So God is not looking for perfect Christians. He's looking for available Christians. Yeah. Are you going to make yourselves available this year? This new year. Amen. Make yourself available now yeah. on a daily basis to him, yeah. you know. Not just once in a while, you know, when right. things are going looking good, and, and, you know, but on a daily basis, make yourself available. Amen. So mm -hmm. when you make yourself available, he's going to use you. Mm -hmm. Praise God. He's looking for available Christians. Amen. And uh, I think uh, we have a list, and you should know about this list. Mm -hmm. But it says, if you think God can't use you because of your past, oh, boy. well, listen to these Bible heroes that God used. Noah was a drunk. Mm -hmm. And God used them. Abraham was too old. I'm just going to read you a few. Jacob was a liar. <laughs> Amen. But Samson had long hair. You know, we don't allow nobody <laughs> in our church that's just got long hair. So you're okay, brother. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, uh, Jonah. <laughs> Some of us, Jonah ran from God. Yes, he did. None of us have run. <laughs> oh boy. Jonah ran from God. You know, God was after him. <laughs> he ran, and some of us, we've been running all our life. It's time. You should be tired by now. You know, oh. stop running from God and just say, Lord, I surrender myself. Yes, amen. <laughs> I give myself to you. Amen. amen. Oh, praise God. Job went quick, uh, bankrupt. Peter, I talked to you about Peter. Peter denied Jesus. Mm. You know, said, whoa, man, that, that's that's a big one right there. Yep. 
Ah, he can't use you anymore. Mm -hmm. You deny him, there's no way and no hope for you. <laughs> the disciples fell asleep on Jesus. Jesus said, stay awake and pray with me. Yes. Oh, and they fell asleep. Jesus came and found them asleep. So they came to deny they were asleep. <laughs> Jesus found them asleep. So some of us, you know, we wait till the end of the day. And, and we, we spend no time with him. But we, we promise at the end of the day, you know, before I go to bed, uh, uh, I'll spend some time with you. And uh, guess what? We fall asleep on him. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, here's the thing right here. Paul, at his time, Paul was, remember, Paul used to be Saul. <laughs> he was too religious. Some of us need to get off the religion and get into the Christianity. The difference is man and relationship. When you're a Christian, you have a relationship with your God and you talk with your God and I need my God to fulfill and do what I need to do in this world. I can't fulfill and be what God has called me to be without him. I need him. I can't be nothing. I'm nothing without him. Right. Amen. Right, right. But if you're going to go by just tradition or you're going to go by religion, you know, it's just a bunch of man-made rules with a little bitty God in them. Mm. And uh, you'll never fulfill it. And you're going to be miserable. Come on now. Right. <sighs> I'll just cut it quick. Okay. But God used the donkey. Mm. <laughs> yeah. uh, if he used the donkey, I know he'll use me. <laughs> 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 uh, <clears throat> another word for donkey here is jackass. If he used Lazarus, he can use me. Yeah. Amen. Lazarus was dead. Yeah. And Jesus called him. Right. And he came out. Huh? Amen. Ooh. Hallelujah. So Jesus used him. Amen. And he'll use you. <laughs> Bless you. Praise God. A new beginning. Mm. A new year. No more excuses. Right. You remember, one body, many parts. Yes. This physical body has many parts. And every little part, mm -hmm. from the smallest to the biggest, from the ones on the outside that you can see to the ones on the inside, yes, are right. vital to make this body function uh -huh. to perfection. Mm -hmm. Amen. And it works in unity. So can mm -hmm. the body of Christ. Yes. Amen. Every one of us, whether it be small, big or small, we're doing it under him. Mm -hmm. Amen. We're going to accomplish big things. Amen. Amen. God is not looking for perfect people. He's looking for available people. Yes, Amen. Good. So you are very important to God. You are very important to the body of Christ. You are the body of Christ. You are the church. Mm -hmm. You know, you are the church. If you don't know by now, you are the church. You are the body of Christ. And who does he use? The, his body. Yes. Us. Amen. He's using us. Amen. So you got to make yourself available. So get yes. involved. Be committed this new year. Amen. To fulfill your part. Amen. So yes. praise God. Keep going. Okay. If you're depressed, <laughs> you're living in the past. <laughs> if you're anxious, you're living in the future. If you're at peace, you're living in the present. Amen. You got to have peace about what's going on Amen. today. Amen. Okay. Forget the past. Mm. Don't be anxious for that. Mm. You're all anxious about it. You know, it's gone. Let it go. Mm. And the future, it says, you're anxious about the future or you're depressed about the past. Mm. <laughs> Let it go. Amen. Mm -hmm. Keep going, Carmen. Don't stress over the past. Mistakes. Don't stress over past mistakes because there's nothing you can do to change it. Focus on your present and create your future today. Amen. Man, hallelujah. Ah, if you don't know, I'll close with this. I can keep on going, amen. But amen. listen to this. Jesus called you, chose you, approved you, mm -hmm. equipped you to fulfill your mission. So be the winner. Be the champion for him. Don't let the devil or anyone stop you. Mm. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens Amen. you. You need to know this as we close this yeah. year. And know this as you start the next year. Right. That he wants, you're a champion for him. 
and he wants to use you, and he's the one that called you and approved you, so you don't need the world's approval or anybody else's Amen. to fulfill what God called you to do. Amen. Amen. Right. If you have never accepted him, all you have to do is say, Lord, I repent. I confess all my sins. Yes. Amen. I give them all to you. Cleanse me of all this. Amen. I give it all back to you. Mm. And you know what? He'll forgive you and forget it. So you need to forgive yourself and you need to let it go. Mm. Yes. Amen. Amen. Forget Amen. about it. And press on with the things of God. Amen. Amen. And be the child of God. And the vital person that he's made you to be yes. to fulfill what he's called you to do, to fulfill the mission he sent you on. Yes. Amen. Amen. So praise God. <laughs> praise Amen. God. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. So all I have to say is God bless you mm -hmm. and have a happy new year. Amen. Amen. Some of you, you won't see me and I won't see you again till next year. <laughs> Amen. So have a happy New Year, amen? amen. But close the year with excitement, with the bang, with enthusiasm, oh, and let's open the new year yes. with excitement, amen. amen. I know, and uh, I come from the sticks. I come from way little town, you know. But you know, every celebration we had, Fourth of July, every end of the year, and every start of the year, I remember my dad would grab his gun, his weapon. And he'd go outside and fire this thing and make all kind of loud banging yeah. noises, you know. Yeah. Say, he was excited, you know. Yeah. So what about us? He says, I give you a new day. He says, rejoice and be glad in it. Yes. I give you a new year. Mm. <laughs> Amen. Be excited about it. Amen. Yes. Hey, we're closing out this year he's given us. So now we're opening a new year he's given us with a bang, with excitement, with enthusiasm. Amen. Amen. So have a happy and bless New Year and prosperous New Year in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen.